Hello, it's Monday evening, uh, bank holiday Monday, and uh, we've had a fairly gentle day. It hasn't been gentle at all, really. Not really, it? No. no. It's been uh, quite busy. It has. It's actually just been Monday. We've had cheese and biscuits for supper, uh, which was rudely interrupted, wasn't it? It was very rudely interrupted, and not by uh, a flying visitor, but by a flying not wanted insect. Yes. Of a large variety. It I'm was. sure it was about six feet four, six feet long. At least. If not eighteen feet long. Yeah. It was. It was. It was this long. It, see, <laughs> it can't. It was so big we can't fit it on the camera. Uh, so it was um, either a hornet or um, a giant queen wasp or uh, possibly an Asian hornet or whatever it was. If it was an Asian hornet, we, we actually have to report it, you know well, that. I haven't caught but, it to <laughs> yeah, know. Yeah. I'd like to report an Asian hornet, please. Are you sure? Well, no, I think it might have been. Unfortunately, I didn't get to get its, get its particulars. Uh, so anyway, it was large uh, and it looked unpleasant and it decided to go, go into uh, one of my uh, faux floral decorations. That's fake flowers to everybody else. Uh, my faux flower decorations in the kitchen. As opposed to faux flowers. Yeah, no, they're, no, they're not real. It's a, it's a wreath of red flowers uh, that is hanging on the, the kitchen wall and uh, it decided it would go into the center a bit and tuck up. That's, anyway. that's the insect not the um, decoration. The decoration yeah. didn't decide it was going to go into the center of itself. That would no. just be existentialism. Uh, that would be a shrewding a moment. Um, so yeah so it was it was in this decoration uh, so I got really brave and I'm keeping an eye out for it now. I got really brave and got the very very long pole with the hook on top of it that we use for opening the skylights Remember, like you had those at school, didn't you? Mm. But, I knew they were longer, and they had ho hooks on either side. They had double hooks. It did a kind of S yeah. thing, didn't it? Mm. Anyway, so we've got a pole with a hook that we used to uh, open and close the uh, the skylight windows. So, <laughs> so it meant I could be about five feet away from it. So I hooked the decoration, carried outside uh, <laughs> with Mr. J opening the, the doors of the kitchen as wide as they would go. Uh, and I got it outside, and then the thing flew off the decoration. Uh, straight at you? Straight at me. Then I, it flew straight at me. Uh, so I squealed and, and dropped the decoration, and, the, and then it flew no, straight you, at you me. Already, no, to be fair, you had already put the decoration very carefully on the floor. Oh, had I? Yes. Oh, well, I'd been brave then. I hadn't realised I'd done that. Um, and so, yeah, so then we both kind of ran away, <laughs> as you do. And, we're brave and, like it, that. and it followed us back into the kitchen. Uh, so we we hot footed it into uh, into the snug, which is the next room on, and neither of us kept an eye on it. So now we don't know where it is. We don't know whether it flew out of the big doors again, uh, or whether it is somewhere in the kitchen, being very quiet, or waiting. Elsewhere in the property. Yes, it could be somewhere else, just waiting for uh, a moment. But I'm not going to sleep tonight thinking about this. <laughs> Remember that day I got into bed to have a sleep and I got stung, but there was a wasp in the bed. Yeah. So well, let's hope that one's Some not. Some of the fire she was. Yes. It wasn't. It wasn't very nice. Um, anyway, so that was our that was our news. Uh, we so we're now being a little bit paranoid about flying things. There's quite a lot of them around. It's that time of the year at that time of the evening. Yes. So uh, I'm big and brave about lots of things, but flying, stingy things, not so much. And spidery things, not so much in your case. And spidery things, not so much. But your and mousy things, not oh, yeah. so much. I'm not, I'm oh, not very good Monty. with the rodents. Monty, however, is excellent with rodents, except when he brings them into play. I don't yeah. like it when he brings them in for a play yet. Hello, Boise. Monty's adopted uh, a new hidey hole. <laughs> He's found a box. And it's perfectly Monty shaped. And Monty sized. And Monty sized, and he can leap into it. And it's just it's sitting do. on the patio waiting to be moved from one place to another. And I was going to be uh, using it in the garden. Uh, I don't think I will be now. Well, not for the moment. 
Not until he gets bored with it. Uh, so, yeah, so he's got that. And uh, I'm still worried about where that thing's gone. Yes. <clears throat> well, there's not a lot we can do about it at the moment, love. No, there isn't. Uh, so else, elsewhere today, what else have we done today? Oh, we've been out. We have. We went to uh, a, a town about 20, 25 miles away. Um, to see our friends Janet and Bill. Uh, and we did a bit of plant to swap. So I took some, well, some of the surplus everything. So surplus leeks and some of my um, squash plants and some of the brassica plants that I've grown and uh, had all, hadn't quite decided whether I was going to plant them or not. So I took those uh, up to Janet for her allotment and she gave us a bag upon bag uh, of uh, golden raspberries and uh, some, some other fruit. Oh, a red, a red gooseberry and oh, right, other soft fruit. So that was nice. It's a good, it was a good, good swap, thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so for Janet, those were just weeds because they were uh, surplus to requirements, and for us, they're brilliant. Yeah, they're additional additional stock for our uh, food forest and fruitery. 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 That's a good word. Mm. A fruitery. Mm. A bit like you mean the orchard with fruit in it, or uh, that would be fruit trees, darling. <laughs> no, and well. But you would get fruit trees in a fruitery. What's a fruitery? It's a place where you have fruit. Oh, okay. Like an orangery is a place where you grow oranges. Well, yeah. A fruitery is a garden. Well, a catastrophe is a place where you have a catastrophe. <laughs> Speaking of whom, <laughs> hello Monty. <laughs> uh, and you've done a load of radio stuff today? I've done a load of radio stuff and we've... Uh, We've done the travelling, and we've. I've been doing a load of weeding, oh, and I've been, I've been ripping up. I've been ripping up trees with my bare hands. He has. I mean, uh, they're only about that big, but I've been ripping out trees <laughs> with my bare hands. <laughs> so this is someone that big. How big? <laughs> that big. <laughs> that big. Very nuisance. So these are the seedlings from the. Uh, sick of the big, big sycamore trees uh, next to the piggeries, and they just go everywhere. And um, each year we end up with hundreds well, or thousands. I've, I've of filled them. two bags full of them today. In yeah, and they weren't to like the, little uh, tiny. No, bags, and I've, I've, <laughs> they're, they're, they're big, sort of you know, uh, or compost bags. Big compost they? bags, and uh, I filled a couple more with other weeds that I've been picking. I'm good at killing things. That's my speciality. I kill things. <laughs> And occasionally Liz has it's to not go, those giant, yeah. huge waspy no. things. Occasionally Liz has to say, just keep away from that. There's stuff there we want to grow. Oh, and the other thing we noticed today on the, and I don't know how you say it, is whether it's Mullion or Mullane or, or Mullane. Um, I plant. don't even know what you're talking about. The big plant I showed you, all those kinds oh, of Yeah. Right. You think it's Mullion, do you? Only because that's what you told me. Well, yeah, but you know. Anyway, however you say it, there are caterpillars all over it, um, and I've also noticed that they're on the buddleia, uh, the same ones. Well, not exactly the same ones, the same... Variety. That's the word. Same say, brand of caterpillar. I was about to say brand, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the same type of caterpillar uh, is, is on the buddleia, munching away on that as well. What I want to know is why it is we've, we've got things growing that we don't want, like all these trees I've been ripping up. Why can't the slugs and caterpillars go and blinking well munch on those and decimate those so that they're easy to get rid of? Do us a favour, do them a favour and not have to... A favour? A favour. Yeah. Do us a favour, do them a favour and not have to stop us having the stuff we want to eat. These miseducated <laughs> insects, I don't know. <laughs> you do realise we're going to get a whole host of people writing to us saying how important those insects are. Yes. A, a bit like that very big waspy thing. Yeah, and I appreciate that in the grand ecosystem, they are very, very important. But not in the kitchen. But not in the kitchen and not eating what we want to eat. No. Or, or to feed the ducks. Mm. And I've mucked out the duck house today, talking of ducks, and we need to go and put their bedding in shortly. And mm, Before we lock them up for the yeah. night. And, yeah, yeah. 
oh and I've planted I've finally got around to planting some beans and I've done some more weeding we've both been uh, we've both been busy the hmm. entire day we have I mean it's not been a, a bad day weather wise it's been very very muggy yes uh, started out very foggy as well but it's not been another day of torrential downpours and thunderstorms although they have forecast that that might happen uh, I'm looking over uh, at the bridge there we can we can see uh, a bridge from here and that has almost disappeared uh, in the evening mist hasn't it yes it's a bit hazy tonight isn't it? it is hazy mm. you know you know when you get those early starts of the day and they're really hazy and you just know when the sun comes out it's going to be one of those few what a scorcher days mm. it's a bit like that only in reverse do you think it's going to be a few what a scorcher night i think it could be quite warm yeah because it's like a blanket keeping yes. the heat except above us we've got a clear blue sky yeah I can hear a kind of clunking clunking noise oh it's just my pace my good darling don't worry <laughs> didn't you know it was steam powered <laughs> <laughs> oh dear I know the clunking noise I can hear. It's either the clock ticking or, or the incubator. Uh, and uh, in the incubator, the uh, turkey eggs have gone into lockdown. And uh, wriggle time. Uh, they are wobbling and moving about. Yeah, no one saw them there on lockdown, have they? Oh, oh no, they're just going to pass. <laughs> so, yeah, so they uh, there are obviously uh, live turkeys in those little eggs at the moment. Uh, and now we just have to uh, touch wood and keep our fingers crossed uh, that they not only hatch but then survive because people keep telling me how hard turkeys are to raise and uh, I just thought they'd be like chickens uh, and it was like yay we'll just get some turkey eggs uh, and actually people are telling me it's a, a very difficult thing to do so I'm gearing myself up for um, a bit of heartache this week uh, in the I know but I don't like losing babies. I know. I don't, I don't like losing adults either, but uh, <laughs> I don't like things dying. No, but, you know, it's all part of the grand circle of life, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, but, but a turkey dying because it fell over and couldn't get itself back up again is... That's turtles dying. <laughs> uh, so I've just spotted the time and... Uh, <laughs> It's definitely time for me to go and uh, give the, the baby chicks uh, a bit of food before they uh, settle in for the night. Yes, part of their evening routine. Uh, so I take a bit of chick crumb to them uh, and that encourages them to go into the, the house and run and I lock them in there um, um, and that just gives them a bit of time not running around like... Well, headless chickens. Like, like headless chickens with heads. So it stops them running around at high speed, gives them a chance to calm down, um, and then in about an hour uh, we actually go and close up the houses, yep. put them all to bed. Uh, so we need to go, or at least I need to go and do that. Yes. And so, wherever you are in the world, and whatever you're uh, up to, no, that's not right, isn't it? Did you do that on purpose? No, I didn't. And so, wherever you are in the world and whatever you've got planned for today, I hope it's a good one. I also hope you can join her again tomorrow. Bye.